Welcome everybody. I am here to talk about one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Scolipede. I fucking adore Scolipede, always have, always will. Definitely on my top 10 favorite Pokemon, super sick Pokemon. But uh, before I get into the nitty gritty of the buffs and changes here, I want to have a quick little disclaimer to check out the description below. If you are new here and you happen to be clicking on this, um, this is a very, very, very in-depth ROM hack, not your typical ROM hack. Uh, all the Pokemon are way, way stronger. Every Pokemon's incredible. Uh, and most importantly, every single move is buffed or changed to some extent, which is why I am plugging the Google Sheets. Not only because I put a lot of effort into them and because you should totally check them out anyways and check all the other cool Pokemon buffs and changes more in depth because I can only cover so much in 10 to 15 minute videos, which is what I try to shoot for nowadays. Um, and I'm wasting time currently by talking about this, so my point is to check out the description below, okay? Um, there is a very detailed Google Sheet where you can check out all of the most uh, more, most important move button changes, and they are all sorted out uh, and laid out into nice little categories for your viewing pleasure. Um, and yeah, those are really important because every move is buster changed. There's a bunch of custom brand new moves and all this other stuff, so yeah. That being said though, Scolipede, oh, I love him. I love him to death. Um, I would say, honestly, favoritism, but, like, every Pokemon is great like this, so it's not like he's anything particularly, like, crazy in terms of buffs. Like, 550, like I said in other videos, is pretty relatively standard for three-stage Pokemon. Um, in a lot of cases, um, typically they can be even more, 575, 600, etc. But, uh, yeah, Scolipede, based on total, pretty standard, but uh, his, his distribution is beautiful, and I just, I just, I'm so hyped for him. Um, sorry if I'm gushing a little bit, I should probably try to get on topic. So, they all retain speed boost. We already know how incredible speed boost is. Very logically fitting ability for them, obviously. Um, and then, the pre-evolutions have Merciless, which is actually a very nice ability to have, uh, because uh, they have lots of great moves that can always poison, and you're already pretty naturally fast, 72 and 87, so you're not always going to need that speed boost. Um, obviously, speed boost, a good thing is you don't have to run speed investment. You can run max HP, and then after one speed boost turn, for example, if you use Baneful Bunker to get that speed boost turn on Whirlipede, um, you will outspeed pretty much everything, and same goes for Scolipede. Um, you outspeed basically everything after one singular speed boost, so you can set up with Sora's Dance or Coil, which they now get. Coil's awesome, especially for moves like Mega Horn, Stone Edge, Power Whip, uh, Power Whip being, you know, they have like the long centipede body. Um, Stone Edge Power Whip, Mega Horn, Gunk Shot, Aqua Tail, Iron Tail, all these powerful moves. Um, these are all buffed to change in some regard anyways, but, you know, still worth checking those out. Um, because I'm not going to go into every little nitty gritty change, but uh, another great move, they have a Steamroller. Steamroller is incredible. Uh, Steamroller is awesome because it is 100 base power, 100% accurate. Meanwhile, Mega Horn is 130 and 85. And then, of course, you have stuff like Lunge, which is very powerful, 85, and that drops defense always by one. Uh, Bug Biting is nice, hits twice. Skitter Smack has great utility on the bulkier sets. So, yeah, one thing I, I haven't addressed yet, by the way, I'm very all over the place, so excuse me for that, but. Uh, Intimidate. Intimidate, beautiful fitting ability for Scolipede. Um, I did have to keep in mind the overlap with the other bug poisons. For example, uh, I could have done Ruthless or something, but Beedrill has that. Um, you know, there's a bunch of other abilities I would have maybe given Scolipede, uh, but in general, Intimidate, uh, not only does it not overlap with the other bug poison types, but it also gives him incredible defensive utility. Uh, he has an incredible HP stat now, base 101. Reason being, I try to base HP a lot more on size in this hack. Not perfectly, it's not like cons super consistent, but a lot more consistent than it is in vanilla games that HP is mostly correlated with size, and Scolipede is a fucking giant Pokemon, literally a horse-sized centipede. I fucking love him. So 101 HP, very fitting. 101, 91, 71 bulk is very solid, incredibly good with Intimidate. Bug Poison is also a very underrated defensive typing. In-game, you don't have to worry about entry hazards because those are very irrelevant for the AI to set up. Uh, maybe in certain certain boss fights, maybe they'll set up a rock or like maybe they'll have one layer of rocks or uh, T-Spikes will be relevant, but obviously you absorb those. Um, T-Spikes is good for AI, but otherwise it's not really the greatest thing. Um, for AI to abuse, so you don't have to worry about rocks, you know, 24-7 because the AI doesn't switch out that often. Um, so the, the Bug Poison is actually a very good defensive typing overall. I mean, obviously, yes, you do have a couple of combo weaknesses, but you also have really good four times resistances to fighting and grass, as well as good resistances to Bug, Poison, and Fairy. Uh, being resistant to Bug is also way more important in this hack because of powerful moves like First Impression, which, of course, Skullabeat is obviously going to get um, via TM. And then, uh, yeah, because other things don't resist Bug as much, which is also a nice buff for Skullabeat. Um, ghost fighting and Fairy do not resist Bug anymore, so you can spam your uh, U-turns and, you know, your other powerful moves a lot easier. Uh, Leech Life is great. Um, again, on, like, the bulkier Intimidate sets, it's incredible. 
in general, you don't need to run, like, for example, an Intimidate set can run max HP. You don't need speed sometimes. Uh, the good thing about this ROM hack is not only do you have access to infinite use ability capsules to easily cycle between your abilities, you can also cycle uh, between your uh, EV spreads. So you can use infinite EV training items and also your TMs and tutor moves. You can swap between those, and that's all really great. Um, so you can run, for one boss fight, you can run a purely offensive speed boost set with, you know, four attacks or three attacks and coil or whatever. Um, and, you know, you can switch it in after a certain amount of time and get a little sweep going. But sweeps are relatively are a, lot, a little bit harder to get off in this game. Uh, unaware Pokemon are a lot more common. There's priority Heart Swap, priority Roar and Whirlwind with decreased PP, all those kinds of stuff that will prevent setup or make it a lot more uh, difficult to get off. But it's still very good nonetheless. Not to mention all these powerful priority moves flying around as well will punish uh, fast setup sweepers. And then slow setup sweepers like Call Miner, Bulk Up, or Iron Defense, all this stuff are punished by all the crit moves that exist. So it kind of balances out. But regardless, that doesn't change how in certain fights if you are smart about it and you switch it in at the right time and you get the right setup going and you you know you taunt the lead or whatever you want to do um oh yeah that's another thing a lot of pokemon just lead taunt now to stop set up on the, uh, the lead um and they'll have like switch moves so you can't you know just kill the lead and then set up on the second pokemon because they'll probably switch out and then they'll come back in later and all that stuff so you got to keep all that in mind um but setup is still great obviously i can't change how it is still inherently very easy to do it um because ai is exploitable but God, I love this. Um, you know, you got the, you could you could run like an intimidate first impression, leech life U turn set uh, with assault vest would be awesome. Uh, or again, just a purely defensive utility set with intimidate would be awesome. You have molt, which is bug type recover. That's really nice for healing. Like I said, skitter smack uh, drops uh, the attack and special attack stats by minus one, so that's really nice as well for defensive sets. You got hazards like T spikes, which is pretty good, uh, especially for merciless sets. That's another reason to use merciless. So merciless, you have Maple bunker, T spikes, toxic, and bar barrage. Bar barrage will always poison and it, that hits three times as well so that has all kinds of uses you know it bypasses cappia berry and sturdy and all this stuff um and normally that's 60 base power it's 20 base power per hit but because of merciless your second and third hit are 30 base power roughly uh, estimated so you are doing 90 base power which is actually stronger than poison jab which is pretty cool uh, and poison fang although poison fang has that 50 percent chance to toxic which is really nice on a bulky or will repeat set uh, with merciless but of course barbarage is a lot more consistent or you can use baneful bunker uh black sludge is also buffed which is awesome for will repeat black sludge uh heals one 12th as opposed to 116th that leftovers does so 112th you know after two turns that's 1 6 hp as opposed to 1 uh 8th so that's like a big hp difference and that's really nice uh the painful bunker and the poison chip and in general world of can be very stally uh, he's also a lot tankier now and of course like i said much faster and a lot stronger pre evolutions are great great pokemon totally easily been able to to 33 honestly i could have gone level 36 for the evolution but I kind of wanted people to be able to have Skullipede for Olivia because it is weak to rock anyway, so it's not the craziest thing, but it is very good uh, for Olivia just because of the Intimidate and or the Speed Boost, whichever one you want to run. Of course, it's up to you and whatever. I would probably think that Intimidate would be better for Olivia, though, but in general, great stuff. Also, Parting Shot Intimidate is huge if you want to run U-Turn. He's just a beautiful Pokemon. He has so much defensive utility and bulk, as well as great offensive capability with that 120 attack and the 112 speed and the great move pool. He's beautiful. Love him to death. Uh, otherwise, great coverage moves, you know, you got the close combat, takedown, the rock climb, wild charge, thunder fang, health thrust, aqua tail, iron tail, power whip, all this great coverage that, you know, you can cycle between depending on the situation, um, you know, if you need to hit a certain Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what else to say here, he's just a goat, I fucking love Skullipede. Otherwise, like I said, Coil's great, uh, but Tom Pass is negative priority, so it's a lot less overpowered to set up in... By, uh, the Tom Pass the boost. However, he is bulky enough, especially with Intimidate or with Speed Boost, um, with like max HP and max bulk. For example, you could easily get a Baton Pass set going with a like, Coil, Speed Boost, Baton Pass. Or you can use uh, moves like Finishing Blow and Power Trip with Coil. Coil gives you plus three, right? Because of the accuracy boost, which is also, like I said earlier, great for a lot of inaccurate moves. But it's really nice as well because you get you get uh, 80 base power Power Trip after one Coil Boost. And then if you add Speed Boost in there, you now have plus four. Power Trip is immediately 100 base power. Obviously, it's not stab, but power trip is really cool because it's also uh, going to give you another plus one attack boost now um, each time you click it, making it even stronger. The downside is it only has two PP, so you can't completely steamroll, <laughs> pun not intended, actually, um, a trainer fight with that. But, you know, after plus three and you get another plus three attack, you can just use your other moves to kill the opponent. So it's still a very, very strong move nonetheless. But you do have a lot of four move slot syndrome and sweeping the general is kind of volatile and also kind of not that fun in game. I'd rather run like a bulkier pivot type set personally, but that's just my personal taste. Um, 
So, you know, you do have to keep in mind you can't keep that forever. I mean, you could, but then you're giving up on a lot of great utility or great offensive coverage or all this other stuff you're going to want. So you do have to juggle and balance your moves that uh, a lot better uh, in, hacks like, in a hack like this. Uh, finishing Blow is also great on the speed boost sets because you get plus three attack when you knock something out, and that's 52.5 base power or four stab, but that's 35 base power, but always crits. So you can also bypass stuff like Intimidate, and you can get a speed boost, and you get the plus three attack, and you can just go to town with that, with Coil or Swords Dance, and it's really fun. I fucking adore Volipede, if you can't tell, but honestly, I'm just gonna leave the video off there. Uh, I could talk about a few other things, but I'm gonna try to uh, keep it simple. Uh, I guess I can quickly mention they do have priority, obviously, other than first impression, they have poison dart and creeping strike, which is nice. Every Pokemon has that in this hack, a priority that is. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I know, lastly, I'll quickly sell Merciless a little bit more because it likes you know, people just see Ungo Bunga speed boost and like this is the best ability of all time, but in game which is essentially almost like Draft League in a way where you can prepare for all the boss fights. It's not as great. It, I mean, it's still great, but it's not like always running great. Merciless is great because you get that giant 50% attack boost. You crit. It's great for totems, especially because you bypass the defense boost on the totem Pokemon if they have one. Um, and it's great with toxic spikes for trainers because they don't know how to switch. So you can just, you know, get that one layer of T-Spike up and then you can crit their entire team to death. Also, the video, music video is over. So this is at 10 minutes now. I know it's at 10 minutes. So I'll leave the video out there. But yeah, great utility, great offensive capability, awesome Pokemon. Love them to death. Hopefully you do too. Hopefully you enjoyed this type of video. Um, I'm pretty much almost at 1K at the time of uploading this. So I really do appreciate that. Hopefully you can help me get there. Uh, so thank you if you do subscribe. You definitely should be if you listen to my videos. Definitely be subscribed. I don't know what you're doing if you're not. Um, yeah, check out the Google Sheet. Like I said, it's in the description below. And I'll be back for more. You know what, Pokemon coming up. See y'all later.